Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Cube. Look at that. The sun's coming up. We've got a nice view of the spawn. Shades are starting to come in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Awesome. I actually just planned on recording being at the ledge here. I, did act I didn't actually know that the sun was going to come up, but that made it that much more epic. Uh, but anyways, we got a bunch of food on us today. I was planning on um, on finishing my potion shop today. Um, before we get into that, uh, H and I, unfortunately I didn't record this, but H and I caught the new rare creature dubbed the Chicken Jockey. This creature is a baby zombie sitting on a chicken, and uh, he told me I could name it what, he, what I wanted, so I broke into Strop's shop while it was closed since we had to do this quickly. Uh, he says he's, he allows people to break in if it's an emergency. I didn't necessarily break in. What I did was I went to the back, went under, and floated up the water. Uh, but I bought a name tag from him for three diamonds. And if we get close enough... Uh, come on. Show the name. Come on. Show that name. Well, it should say Spike if I'm close enough. Well, his name is Spike. I don't know how to get it to show. Hold on. What if I go above him? No, I don't want him to get out. I'm not messing with this. <laughs> so yeah, his name is Spike. It'll show occasionally. Why are you not showing? I'm like really close up. Did the name tag effect wear off? No, he hasn't despawned. His name is Spike. So I named him Spike because it was the first name that came to my mind and everything was happening so quickly. So say hi to Spike. Welcome him to the server, the new chicken jockey. <laughs> and uh, I think H will have a recorded footage of that in his video since I know he was recording. Kermit said we should make a train station in the field ahead of similar style as spawn and he started it here At first I thought this was a dock. This was a dock. Sorry before I actually read the signs But it's a uh, it's a train station. So he's starting up the rails and the tracks. Hopefully he he knows what he's doing and <laughs> He carries this on with uh, with great passion But let's get to the main part. Uh, I was planning on uh, so yeah, here's how you would break in well figured figuratively speaking you just go in here, and you float up. It's not really breaking in, it's just... He, he likes to have the daylight sensor because it's cool looking, and for most people who don't know about the method that you can get in using that way, they gotta wait. And it was funny, Bayani and I were on the server last night, and Bayani, like, we were talking to each other in a Skype call, and he's like, yo, I need a name tag for this villager or whatever he was talking about. And I was like, yeah, sure, Straub's selling some, so he goes to Straub. I was like, no, it's night, it's closed, you can't, you can't buy from Straub's shop right now. And he was like, I'm going to do it anyways. And he made some excuse as to how he wasn't actually going to do it. And I, I just saw him come to spawn and I shot him dead before he got in. So you're welcome, Straub. I didn't let any prisoners into your shop while it was closed. Uh, so you see roses in front of my potion shop here. Um... <laughs> what is this? What is this? This is inappropriate. Who did this? I have not checked this out yet. All I did was I saw the roses, so I said, okay, we gotta record because someone did something to my shop, so we'll see in a second. It seems like I'm the only one that gets pranked on this server. I don't even know if this is a prank. I was never told I was pranked, so we'll see. I really need a shovel at level 30, though, so that's something we might get done if possible because I know shoveling this dirt with my fist is really boring. Let's go around to the front where the flowers are. Oh, there's a sign. Whoa, okay. Coming soon, Devon Mines Flower Shop. Also dirt. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think you have the wrong building, Devon. <laughs> what is this? Well, thanks for all the free flowers. I appreciate it. Thank you. But we're definitely going to get a shovel to, to shovel all that up. But yeah, I got a lot of rose bushes now. That's sweet. I can use that for my house. And by the way, this is temporary gear, by the way. Um, a lot of you asked where my diamond gear was. My diamond gear is in the chest, in my ender chest. It's um, I don't want to wear it till it's completely repaired. I've repaired my boots and my hat so far, and I put protection three on my hat. I couldn't get protection four, unfortunately. It still didn't happen. But because of this prank, I've decided to lay out the episode kind of differently this time around. Uh, instead of just doing the average building and checking out things and whatever, I think this episode we're going to spend spend some time getting people back and what i mean by that is when i pranked bayani a while ago with that trap door in the ground he said it wasn't good enough and he said that he wanted me to prank him even better 
before he got me back again. So I'm going to try to get him again. On top of that, I'm going to get Tomahawk, something that should involve Obsidian. And then finally, we're going to prank Devin. And I know exactly where Devin's house is. I have to travel to the nether to get to the other guy's houses. I'm the only one on the server, so that's good. Um, but I think what I have in mind is for Bionni, I'm going to have some sort of tripwire trap like usual. But this time, I'm going to make it work. He's got a big house now that's easily prankable rather than the, uh, the older one. For Tomahawk, it's going to be something involving Obsidian. Something. I visited his house. I visited his land. It is a box of wood, so I don't know. We'll see what we can do for him. And I think it'll be quite easy with uh, with Devon Mines. Basically paying everyone back, and that'll be the episode, unfortunately, today. Uh, we'll get some work done next time, but I think it should be a fun one. So I'll see you when I've gathered materials for the first prank. Man, oh man, this little bugger took a long time to find. And then I just lost him again. There he is. One little chicken under the ocean. I've got my lead. Come with me, buddy. You're following me now. So, as you may have guessed, we're at Bionis. We're going to do his place first. Um, should probably keep my lead on him, shouldn't I? Yep, let's go. Yeah, okay, so even if I switch it, it'll still be led on to him. Here we go. Come up, come up. Okay. So we all know that he pranked me using chickens last time. Well, different story this time. Aw, oh, this little guy's gonna be the subject to this horrible prank, because it's done by Grazer, but it'll still be good. Trust me, I know it will. Follow me, little chicken. You're gonna be the subject of madness. He's, he mentioned something about not keeping his door open for long. Come on in. There we go. Um, how are we going to do this? Oh. Okay, we're still led on to him. Sweet. Um. Here we go. And let's match it up with the hole. And we're going to lead you. Where's the lead? There we go. Got you. All right, perfect. The new mechanism on how leads work is confusing. Get down there. There you go. There you go. No. Okay, I thought it broke. Well, look what just showed up at the door. If it isn't so, over here, over here, we're going to trap this guy. They're attracted to the villagers that Bayani has. So if we hit this guy, here we go. Now he's aggroed on us. Let's go. Let's go. Where's the entrance? Right over here. Alright, 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 alright. I don't think he can get out of this once I've trapped him in here. Cut. Okay. Let's try this. Come on! Forgot about the mat! Okay, I think you're trapped. There we go. There we go. How does he hurt? Oh, he just killed himself! There we go. That took long enough. And I locked your villagers in, Bayani. Don't worry. The zombie won't get to him. Oh, man. That took way too long. All right. Let's now fix the mat. If we can even get over there. Can we get over there? Aha! Finally, we got the main event of this prank. So you know we've set it all up here. I had to go all the way back to spawn to get Netherwart, and Bionni still hasn't logged in, so I'm getting lucky today. Um, but I put a pressure plate here. I'm going to exit the house, but in the dispenser there will be two splash potions of poison. So when he walks in, he's probably not going to first notice the pressure plate. Hmm. So the idea is he'll walk in and not notice the pressure plate. He'll hit it, this door behind him will close, and a splash potion will shoot up at him via the dispenser. Bayani is done. Oh, I almost forgot. I thought that was his front door the whole time, so easy fix. Sorry, this door is closed. Go around to the left side of the house to enter. What? Oh, okay. Uh, so go around to the left side of the house. This should indicate that you should be recording. Um, let's just quickly, yeah, that should be enough. So this door is closed. He'll go down to the left side, and that's where it all takes place. Now is the next person. 
Ah! All but one log in the air that's gonna cause me aggravation for years to come is finally gone. I collected all the obsidian that dropped that I could. I've got a stack of 64 and 27. All in all, it took me about 30 minutes to remove entirely, so thank you, Tomahawk. We'll be moving along with your little prank in a bit. Um, I'm gonna remove that shortly, don't worry, guys. I know that's causing you guys, like, mental brain pain right now. It's causing me that as well, just seeing that one log up there I forgot to remove. But uh, let's head on over to Tomahawk's house, and uh, we'll get started with his prank and his prank's gonna be uh it's gonna involve a little bit of sympathy all right so here's the backstory behind tomahawk so you all know he pranked me he called me ugly above my house and it took a long time to remove i was gonna do something extremely evil in return but then i heard about his unfortunate uh disastrous event that occurred uh, right after he pranked me actually it was like maybe a day after he was AFKing on the server and then he got pushed in by a mob to a lava pool and lost a lot of his good stuff and upon seeing his house here it's only a wood box I felt like I should probably go on easy on him so I think what I'm gonna do is make like a face above his house just acknowledging that I got the prank and maybe in the future I'll do something worse. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have, two, we have an even number, which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These two right here are going to be our middle. Let's block up here. And I think we need three, actually. So this isn't going to be exactly even, so to speak. So 1, 2, 3. We're going to use obsidian because that's what he used on me. And I wasn't too happy about it, so... He's not going to be too happy about it when I use it on him either. Here we go. Alright, so we're going to make the foundation here. I already know what I'm doing. I built this in creative beforehand. There we go. I think this is what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go down a bit. Uh, Alright, so what do we got here? We got one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. We just need to add another one here. And I think a lot of you have built this before. It's not that complex. But, nevertheless, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to let myself finish building it if I can here. Hold on, let me build a platform here to descend onto and put that third one there. Okay, so now we've got our basic foundation. Let's quickly go back up through this cobblestone, saving the world. All right, so we got one, two, three on each side. One, two, three, four, one, and two. Let's create a diagonal path here that goes into a two by two square. I don't want to place any of this obsidian wrong because I feel like it's like it's so hard to break. I don't want to do that and it, it takes so long. So let's do this. All right. Okay. Nice. And I think that's about it. It's not too long of a prank. I just wanted to make sure that he knew I got the message and I got his prank and it worked. Uh, I think he saw that already in my video, but nevertheless. Oh, we fell all the way down, which is something I didn't want to do. I don't want to show it yet, but I think you guys can pretty much decipher it. it it's uh, it's what I've been trying to catch in the fields of the cube for a while now when there's a thunderstorm. Uh, not necessarily supercharged though, and it's only the face of that creature. <laughs> but uh, I was going to do a sad face originally, it, uh, like showing my sympathy for him, but then I was like, ah, it's not, it's not as fun to do. So we're going to fill in this all with cobblestone, block ourselves a bit over here and fill in this whole side or this whole side right here as well with cobble and then we'll have to do the top row and the bottom row and then it should be all good and rolling here let's destroy some of this cobble so we can block up here we go not good to waste cobble when you need it okay so we got to put our cobble here and i believe i have another stack in case there we go and i've got that side this side needs to be done, so let's take care of this side here. Not that hard of a prank to pull off, to be honest. Um, I think I'm going to need to quickly react here. There we go. Awesome. And I think that's about it. Let's let's just uncover this. Ah, you guys see it. You guys see it, <laughs> for sure. We'll do one more layer underneath here. And I think I forgot a block over there anyways, so... Um, let's do this. All right. Nice. Loving it, loving it. Let's just hope he doesn't log in. That's the only thing I'm concerned about at this point. Because it's almost done. 
Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Tomahawk. All right. I think we're good. I think we are done. Are we done? I think we are. Let's go take a look at it. Let's destroy all this unneeded cobble. You guys saw it, but I want to take a look at it from afar. And we should be good. I, I, I'm known for performing the worst pranks known to mankind. I'm going to make a mistake. Watch. No, it's perfect. I love it. <laughs> just, just a creeper face. That's all it is. Um, I was going to do something else, but like I said before, the sympathy is there. The sad face is there. Um, hmm. No, that's all I'm really going to do for him, I think. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to our last contestant, Devin Mines. Oh, whoopsie, I almost forgot the billboard. Tomahawk, I feel your pain. My sympathy for you can be shown in the air. Oh, I put in air because I didn't want to put the air. I don't want it to be too specific. Sad face, Grazer MC, so I signed off my prank. And I think what I'm going to do, uh, if this looks good. Oops, let's, uh, oh, here we go. Let's do this. Ah! Yeah, boo, 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 boo. Let's do that. And he's got a nice little setup in his house, actually. I like it. Why do I have so many eggs on me all the time? I had to clear one of my chests out of eggs. Uh, so let's do this. Awesome two fence posts. That should do the trick if it wants to look good. Here we go. There we go. Nice little stand up. How would that look without it? Yeah, there we go. That even looks better. Nice little stand up. So I signed it off, and it's more or less my sympathy for him rather than a prank, although it is going to be quite hard to clean up. I did place quite a bit of obsidian there, so it should take him around 10 minutes uh, with a good pick, hopefully. Uh, and, and navigating upwards and trying to do all that, it's a bit complicated. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for him. Hey, little guy. How are you doing? You're kind of destroying Bionis Nether Hub. Like, a lot. Why are you doing that? Now I have to fix all this. What is wrong with you? Bad boy. No, I can't kill you. Get out. <laughs> oh, man. Don't tell me you did too much damage. I don't think so. I think only a bit. I think most of it. Okay, so this damage was done. All right. Okay, no other damage, just this. And I think that is blocks of quartz, which I can claim one right here. All right, it's gonna be a hard fix. No, I think it's just blocks of quartz that are missing. That's all it is. Uh, I wonder if there are any in the chest that should help out a bit. Nope. Hmm. Aha, here we go. Uh, crafting bench anywhere? Did we put one in the nether hub? Gotta make one myself, huh? Should be an easy fix. All right, 16, that's enough. Here we go. All fixed. Problem solved. Now, what went here? I don't know what went there. Uh-oh. <laughs> what did go there? Let's look at another end corner. That music's a bit loud. Here we go. I have no idea what went there. Hmm. Ah, I think it's, um... <laughs> Are any, any pieces missing here? I'll get Bionni to fix that, but for now I'll just replace it with quartz, even though I know that's not what's there. I'll tell him it's, it's broken, though. Alright, welcome back, everyone, to Devin's house. It's been a while for me, not so long for you. However, I did die. While I was setting up this trap, I was being an idiot, and I lost my looting sword, my power, four bow, my power 4 bow, and my efficiency pick. So I'm stuck with these, power 3, unbreaking 3, and silk touch. So I got most of my stuff back. It was just the good stuff that got lost, and I don't know, pretty P.O.'d about that. <laughs> but let's check out the prank. So it's going to have the door closed. All I'm going to say on, to him on Skype is... Uh, you need to record when you get on so when he gets on he'll be like oh yeah 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 okay so this is here I know this is here he probably will not know that this is here I'm hoping he doesn't <laughs> that's the goal because if you're Devin well here's a demonstration okay so I originally made the trap here and I figured that it was one block too long so I was like oh that might not work he might notice it too quickly 
So I, I put it here instead. I put a hole and I have it so that the buttons push you into the lava anyways. So it was an easy fix. Uh, I need to create two more buttons because once we demonstrate this, the pressure plates will be gone. Sorry. Pressure plates, not buttons. Uh, so I imagine Devin like this. He's coming to his house. He's like, mm, I'm recording. What in the world is Greaser talking about? Oh, that might not work. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, he can see it. Okay, what in the world is Grazer? Ah, oh, why is it like that? Hmm. But it would push him in like that. I could not find a way, other than using a bunch of redstone and pistons, which I lost while I died, uh, to make it so that it would be more covered up than that. So I hope that's enough. Anyways, um, so you saw I, I left a way out. Let's go look at the sign. So he gets to the bottom, and it says, Haha, you were scared for an instance of time. Exactly how I felt when my shop was poppied. Mwahaha, Grazer MC. I left a path that's kind of dark that adds to the effect. And as you saw before, I broke a dirt block, get on the trap door, and cover it up again so that he doesn't see it when he gets by. The only thing I'm concerned about is he may notice the trap beforehand. Uh, although I'm not sure. Hmm. We'll see how it plays out. But I imagine... I imagine he opens doors faster than I do because I, I open them pretty slowly but that's Devin's prank let's hope it works I think the one that'll work most was Bionis that was my favorite prank to lay today um, and speaking of Bionni <laughs> let's head back to spawn all right we are back at spawn here is the new Christmas tree or holiday tree that strawberry jam put together he's got some ornaments on it and there are dogs barking outside of my window it is closed, so it's a pretty loud bark. Uh, so he's got snow below it that's uh, kind of spreading throughout the spawn here, but it's all in the holiday joy and the cheer of the holiday. Yeah, buddy. Uh, but if we migrate this way, <laughs> I saw the sign while I was at spawn earlier, but if we go back to my potion shop, Bayani's got us in a loophole. If you're not, Grazer, do not read the book. Grazer, read the book, a whole book on camera, Bayani. Grazer, make sure to read everything in the book. It's a trap chest. Nice try. Okay, so I assume by this point, since I'm, uh, I'm <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> it's gonna trigger the floor. I know it. I'm recording this portion of the episode after I pranked Bionni. I I filmed that part yesterday, so I assume that he's reacted to it by this point, and that you guys have seen his reaction on his channel. So he's pranked me back. I want to actually read the book, but I want to see what's what's with this. Ah, if you're reading this, then I got you back. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, Bionni joined the game. Seeds. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> yes. I just reacted. Obvious trap was obvious. Seeds. Get in there. Get in there. Nope. You did not get me. Try harder next time. Try harder next time. <laughs> that was a pretty good trap, though. Pretty good concept, though. Pretty good concept. <laughs> oh, poor Bionni. Yeah, but after I realized it was trapped chest. <laughs> what did you think of my trap? <laughs> Should put a sign on it, yeah. The one I pranked you with, yeah. <laughs> So Bayani has seen the prank. How did he react? How did he react? Raffle. Didn't get me with poison. Oh, oh, and Kermit drowned. GG Kermit. Oh man, I'm gonna have to re watch his reaction to that. But it's gonna be that's gonna be the end of the episode today, unfortunately, everyone. Um bit of a shorter one. But I think next episode we're finally gonna get to work on our house and I need to clear up this potion shop. Uh major letdown that I died though, and that I lost a lot of my stuff. <laughs> I got you back. Nice try. I want to see how he did this, actually. How did he make this work? Let's see the redstone behind this. 
Okay, so he just Oh, so he just he just made repeaters. Oh, they connected to one another. What's this? Okay, that's my clay and then it just torched into the trap chest. I understand. That must have taken him a while to set up, but time to break it down. That gives me ideas for the future. <laughs> like right now future, of course. What else would I have meant? Oh yeah, all done. We got the trap going. This is no way possible he's gonna notice this. So he comes in. Devin, I love you. Do you love me? I just wanted to quickly say that I am angered about the entire poppy thing. Absolutely unacceptable. So just so we're clear, these buttons were here earlier. Um, I'm trying to find a way. Could I possibly? Yeah, so basically once he clicks these buttons, he's done. He falls in if he's not paying close attention. I think if I put one here, I can still get away with it. No. Breaks the circuit. Yeah. So, we gotta remove that. Um, and we gotta put this here. So, I'm hoping he doesn't find out that there's a trap here. <laughs> um, yeah. So, he walks in. Oh! Falls in and he gets mad. <laughs> That's basically a summarization of it. I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, a lot of pranking action happened, and uh, <laughs> I wanted to to get my anger back on everyone anyways. And I like Devin's trap that I set up for him the most. I sincerely hope he falls for it. I really hope he does. Like That took a lot of effort. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like rating if you did, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.